There we go. Welcome back to Tackle Tuesday. The only Tackle Tuesday that's absolutely never posted on a Tuesday because it's my show. I get to do what I want. Although I suppose you could watch it whenever you want to because it's on YouTube. So anyway, today on Tackle Tuesday, I want to talk about the least expensive options for the Garmin LiveScope system uh, that I have currently going on right here. Uh, least expensive in air quotes because I understand the LiveScope system itself, which is the GLS-10 box. That guy. This is the GSL-10 box. And the LVS-32 transducer. Which which is that guy right there. They are not cheap. They are not cheap. It is, uh, the transducer itself is $1,000. Uh, the transducer with the box is $1,500. So they are definitely not cheap and I understand that. Uh, but if you are looking at getting the live scope, there's a few options that you can look at to stay on the least expensive side. So if you actually go to the Garmin live scope or the Garmin website and you go to the Marine uh, chart plotters or pan optics or whatever it is, and you look at the compatible units on the Garmin website right now, the 7.2, 7.3, and 7.4 SV are the uh, least expensive options. Those come in, I believe, around seven to 800 bucks. If I'm being perfectly honest, the, the most popular one is this one right here. This is the Ecomap 9.3 SV. And uh, solid unit priced in. If you just want to get this unit, uh, with the live scope system right here and not the external transducer uh, that unit sells for about I want to say that unit sells for about 850 bucks uh, This unit does seven inch screen is pretty tight in terms of trying to view everything that the live scope has to offer and a lot of people go with this nine inch screen I highly recommend it if you already have Hummingbirds or Lorances already on your boat or Simrad or Raymarine, some other system, and you're just going to use the, the display unit you buy for the live scope, do not get the extra transducer or the transducer that you normally would either mount on the bottom of the trolling motor or the back of the boat at the transom. You don't need it. Um, all you need is the display unit, the box, and this thing right here, this LVS. 32 transducer. I'm currently trying to beat out a rainstorm to get this video filmed for you. Uh, but if you're if you're looking for something bigger, if you're looking for that that 10 or that 12 inch screen, uh, the GPS map units are the way to go. So the GPS map 1022 and the GPS map 1222. Um, I'm going to be adding one of them on my deck here. I'm leaning towards the 1222, but the 1022 is priced in at $1199. And again, that's a, the GPS map unit, no transducer, uh, no sonar. All it is is basically, it, it was designed as a chart, like a regular chart plotter, like a, a mapping system that you would link up to another GPS map system that already had sonar, side imaging, down imaging, stuff like that. Um, so the 1022 is 1199. The 1222 comes in at 1899. If you're looking for the 12 inch screen and you want the least expensive option, the GPS map 1222 is the way to go. One thing, actually two things. Let's talk about the transducer. This is the LVS 32. A lot of people go online and they see a uh, transducer, which is the LVS 12 uh, for 499. That is technically a live scope transducer, but it is not the full live scope transducer like this LVS 32. This LVS 32, basically what it does is it, it shoots out different rays and sometimes you can see them on screens and there's like a single ray going like this, another one and another one. And this, this GSL 10 box, the job of this box is to actually stitch all of those images together and put it onto your screen. And sometimes when you're you're moving around, and I'll, I'll show some footage here, you can kind of see the lines where everything's stitched together. Uh, depending on how, how much sediment is in the water and how much, uh, I guess, noise comes back at the transducer. The LVS-12 is one solid, I guess, triangle or ray or beam. I don't know what, what you want to call it. 
but it doesn't show you behind the boat. And you'll notice on this unit, I can actually see X amount of feet behind the boat or underneath the boat. Uh, the LVS-12 does not show that. In fact, you can only see, I believe it's like five, depends on how far you're, you're viewing out, but it's like five to 10 feet in front of the boat is where the angle actually starts. So it's a narrower viewing angle. Now I've actually heard that the ice fishing guys, they love it because if you get the ultra units, I don't think you have to get the, the GSL-10 box it, to make it work for the 499 LVS-12 live scope option. Um, the ice fishing guys, because they use it pretty much for down imaging, it works for them. Uh, but if you're gonna put it on your boat, highly recommend LVS-32 transducer right there, GSL-10 box, this is the live scope system for $1,500. Gosh, I know, I know, it's expensive. Uh, so that's a transducer. One other thing about the Ecomaps versus GPS map units. So the Ecomap uh, Ultra HDs, like the 93 SV Ultra HDs, or the Ecomap Ultra units, like the 102, uh, what the 126, I think 10 and 12 inch screens, they can record sonar. So you like your 2D sonar, your down view, side view, and I'm pretty sure your chart, uh, like your your mapping system. I'd have to double check on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can record those things. It cannot, for whatever reason, Garmin did it this way, the Ecomap Ultra HD and the Ecomap Ultras cannot record live scope with the Active Captain app on your phone. If you're, if something, if recording live scope is something that you want to do, you need to go with a GPS map unit. You don't need to go with the two I mentioned. If they work too, but the GPS map units themselves are the only ones that can actually record the screen on screen uh, through the uh, this little. Let's see if I can zoom in on that thing there's a there's a little card slot right here you can enter that in or insert a card you can insert a card there and then use the active captain app to record the live scope screen only with the gps map units um, that's something i'm super disappointed in garmin uh, i kind of wish they would just come out with an update i mean they come out with a ton of updates you think they just come out with one that you could record live scope because right now I got to have a GoPro on there or a bigger camera this bigger camera so Garmin if you watch this video please come out with an update for the Ecomap Plus series the Ecomap Ultra HD series and the Ecomap Ultras so that we can record our live scope screens I mean it's free marketing for you that's all it is so uh, if you're watching, please, please do that. So for the rest of you watching, if you want to record live scope, get a GPS map unit. So to break it down, the 7.2, 7.3, and 7.4, which are seven inch size screens, those are the cheapest display units that are currently compatible with the Garmin live scope system. Highly recommend uh, if you're on a budget, I believe it's 850 bucks just for the display unit. Ecomap 9.3 SV UHD. Solid unit, a lot of these combos, this combo right here, a lot of them get sold because this is a very popular one. 10 or 12 inch screen is your thing. The GPS map 1022 coming in at 1199 and the GPS map 1222 coming in at 1899. I hope you enjoyed this Tackle Tuesday in the field. Why is it raining again? It's sunset, there's a sunny sky right there. This is stupid. Drove two and a half hours to fish this lake and it's rained probably, I don't know, six hours of the day so far. Thankfully, I packed rain gear. Thankfully, I had live scope too. I will link the breakdowns below uh, to the bass tank. The guys at the bass tank actually build bundles for you. So you don't even have to like piece it together yourself. You can actually click uh, live scope bundles and it'll break it down. Uh, the Ultra HD series, the 727374s, the 93 SVs, the Ultra series, which is the 102 and the 10 or the 102 and the 122 or the 126 series, and then the GPS map series 1022, 1222. They already have them bundled up on their website. I'll link them below. I'll also link the uh, the other transducer if that's something you're interested in. The LVS12. It's a narrower viewing angle. But if you got any comments or questions or video ideas of stuff you want me to go over, price breakdown, stuff like that, post it in the comment section below. Otherwise, you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. 
I appreciate you watching as always. I really wish it wasn't raining right now. What are you going to do? I'm going to go try to catch some more fish. We'll see ya.